Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Monday, August 8th, 2022. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Happy Monday. I hope you had a fantastic weekend, got your fill of crabs on Friday at the Rotary's Crab Feast, and maybe got some signatures from the 2022 Navy football team on Saturday at the Fan Fest. All right, we do have a lot of news, so let's get into it, shall we? More racially-based crimes. Last week, someone scrawled a racially-based insult on the door of the Kingdom Celebration Center in Gambrels. Now, this is the same church that had a similar incident back on July 11th. This time, the Anne Arundel County Police were able to identify a suspect via video evidence. They located him and arrested him. The suspect has been identified as a 66-year-old white male, and I do mention this as the church is predominantly African-American. He was charged with three counts related to the destruction of property, harassment, and targeting of an organization based on their R-R-E-S-O-D status. Now, I was unaware of that acronym used by the police, so I called and found out, and it stands for Race, Religion, Ethnicity, Sexual Orientation, or Disability. The suspect does have no fixed address, yet, strangely enough, was released on his own recognizance. I did ask the police if he was a suspect or charged in the July incident, and the police said that he was not. Congratulations, or perhaps condolences, to Dr. Mark Bedell, who is the new Anne Arundel County Public School Superintendent. He does officially start the job this morning. He has a 15-year career behind him, having worked in Houston, Baltimore County, and most recently, Kansas City. I say welcome, Dr. Bedell. We are looking forward to some great things from Anne Arundel County Public Schools. Saturday was Media Day and the Navy Fan Fest to kick off Navy football's 2022 season. This year, there are three co-captains in Kip Franklin, John Marshall, and Bijan Nichols. Now, Navy is not predicted to do well by all of the pundits, and that's usually just what it takes to motivate this team. It is light on seniors, but according to Coach Nima Tololo, they are the best physically prepared that he has ever seen. I do imagine it also bodes well for the next few seasons as we will have younger guys coming up that can play longer. First game is scheduled on September 3rd here at home against Delaware, and tickets are available now at NavySports.com. Go Navy, beat Army. The Anne Arundel County Department of Public Works cut the ribbon on a new solar project at the Bureau of Utility Operations Center in Millersville. It's a $4 million project that will, when complete, offset more than 90% of the current electricity demand at the complex. And it consists of a mix of solar modules, both rooftop arrays, as well as parking lot canopies. So it's all part of that green initiative of County Executive Pittman. Hey, good news. The long-awaited Beacon Waterfront Galley and Dock Bar will be opening a little bit later on this week. This is located at Chesapeake Harbor in the location where Sam's on the Waterfront used to be. They held a soft opening this weekend, so it will be great to have yet one more true waterfront option for dining again. In other news, we do hear that Sea Salt Annapolis at the former Fado location is still moving forward despite the appearance of zero work being done. We hear there's a problem with, wait for it, permits. Okay, I'll let your shock wear off for a bit. But whatever happened to the mayor's campaign promise to have a permit office on Main Street with a countdown clock to eliminate these issues? Annapolis is the only town where it takes two years to open up a coffee shop in the same location as an old coffee shop. But anyhow, it will be nice to see Sea Salt finally getting underway. I do hope you caught the local business spotlight, Sally Boyette in the Classic Theater of Maryland. And we also dropped a bonus beer cast on Sunday from Ramshead Roadhouse with the folks from Catsep Brothers. And we got to talking about fall festivals and fall festivities and fall beers. Yes, despite it being 100 degrees outside, fall is indeed coming. So you want to make sure you check out those two as soon as you get a chance. All right, that is a wrap. But first, a quick thank you to our sponsors for today's Daily News Brief, Solar Energy Services, Alpha Engineering, and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, the Long End Foster Company. And Alcina from Covington Alcina is here with your Monday Money Report. And of course, George Young from DC MDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather. All that coming up in just a bit. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. 
Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away. Helping your business run smoothly and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Monday, August 8th. Not a bad weekend for the Annapolis region, but we have some big time heat and humidity to get through the next few days before a very nice change moves into the region in time for the weekend. Expect widespread low to mid 90s today and tomorrow with a small but valid chance for p.m. storms each day, followed by upper 80s to lower mid 90s Wednesday with a possibility for more flash flooding in the region due to very heavy rainfall as a frontal boundary moves into the area, which will start the process of bringing in cooler air late week and over the weekend as temps will be upper 80s to maybe lower 90s again Thursday before low to mid 80s Friday and Saturday, followed by mid to upper 80s for p.m. high Sunday with much lower humidity each day as we progress to the midpoint in the last month of meteorological summer. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DCMDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info. Definitely be sure to download our DCMDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google app stores so you can always stay weather informed. Another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. I keep getting asked, is there a bubble that's about to burst? Thankfully, we don't think so. The market today is much different from the 2009 real estate market. The housing bubble of 2009 was caused by too many people buying homes they simply could not afford. This time around, home buyers have to actually qualify to buy homes and put money down. When the market goes through shifts like they are now, different areas and price points react independently. Now more than ever, it's time to work with someone who's been through the shift before to guide you with solid, proven advice. This is a time where wisdom, proactiveness, and intense marketing make a huge difference. Please give us a call today so we can help you navigate these waters. We promise to educate and guide you with your best interest at heart. That's another moving moment with Christy Neidhart of Northrop Realty, a Long and Foster company. To get in touch, call 410-599-1370 or visit kn-team.com. You work hard for your money. Is your money working hard for you? Managing and investing, it can be confusing. Ann Alsina, a financial planner from Covington Alsina, has been helping people make sense of it all for over 17 years. Are you ready? Now here's your Monday Money Report. This is Ann Alsina of Covington Alsina with your Monday Money Report. The market continued its positive streak last week despite a drop on Friday. More than 80% of S&P 500 companies have reported earnings, and the results were largely positive. In fact, the S&P 500 is up over 10% since July 14th as earnings have been higher than expected, and third quarter estimates for earnings growth have nearly doubled. Supply chain disruptions and logistics have continued to impact manufacturing. While this is troublesome in the short run, many companies are using this as an opportunity to rethink and redesign their supply chain, which could be beneficial in the long run. We're also seeing shoppers alter purchasing patterns as they continue to be squeezed at the gas pump and the grocery store. Friday's decline in the market was actually a result of what would normally be considered good news. The jobs report was good, with both job growth and wages significantly higher than projections. Investors had expected that inflation will fall in the future, and the Fed will have to reduce interest rates, or at least not continue the aggressive pattern of hikes. Instead, with a strong job market, the Fed has room to continue increasing rates, and there is fear of another 0.75% rate hike in September. The big question is, what do you do with this information? 
If you're unhappy at work or looking to take the next step up the ladder, now is the time to look for something else while jobs are still plentiful. Some companies have rescinded offers, however. Be certain you have a position before resigning. Continue to pay down variable interest rate debts, like credit cards and lines of credit. The recent upswing may not continue, so dollar cost averaging can be a smart move for investments. That's when you make systematic purchases on a set schedule. This can be as simple as investing in your 401k, TSP, or IRA. With every paycheck or monthly contribution, you are dollar cost averaging. If you have a large amount of cash sitting on the sidelines, you can move it into an investment account and make purchases over time. When you do this, you are buying more shares when prices are low and fewer when prices are high. The math works out that your average price per share purchased will be less than the average stock price over the same period. Your action item this week is to check your student loans if you have them. The federal government has made it easier for loans to be forgiven under several circumstances, including the Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program or Disability of the Borrower. They have expanded the number and types of loans that can be forgiven. There is an October deadline for some of these, so don't wait. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and check out our website at covingtonalcina.com. Investment advice offered through Great Valley Advisor Group, a registered investment advisor. All performance references, historical, and no guarantee of future results. All indices around managed may not be invested into directly. The opinions voiced in this show are for general information only are not to provide specific advice or recommendations for any individual to determine which strategies or investments may be appropriate for you. Contact the appropriate qualified professional prior to making a decision. And if you don't have a financial advisor, come talk to us. This is Anne Alcina with Covington Alcina. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Hopefully you've come to know and trust this voice when it comes to solar. Many of you out there have already decided you will go solar, but you just haven't decided when. Here's two reasons why the timing is urgent. First, the federal tax credit for solar drops from 26 to 22% on December 31st of this year. If you don't commit this summer, you could miss out on 4% of the savings on your solar project. Second, solar locks out today's roaring energy inflation. National electricity costs have jumped 12% in just the last 12 months. You've only got a few months left to sign up to ensure you get installed in 2022 for the full 26% tax credit. If you know solar energy is in your future, now is the time. Call us today at 410 920 236090 or visit us at solarsaves.net. But don't wait another minute. Sunshine's wasted. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IamAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.